Yeah, no problem. No. Um, I've been I've been working the past three days. Gotcha. Yeah, and your work schedule is like super full when you're working, right? Man, yeah, it's like, like twelve hours. Yeah, yeah, that counts as super full for sure. Thir Thirteen hours, uh, counting the travel time. Gotcha. What have you been working on lately, if you've had the chance? Uh, I guess like try to uh, defend better, I guess, and not to be super, uh, uh, super aggressive. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel like that can be super tempting with Ram. I noticed uh, that I I was fighting Rosbrack as Ram the other day, and like I want to run forward and press things, and that just does not want that much. Ram seems significantly stronger if you were just like, nah, you, should pay more attention. you come to me and you deal with the giant sword. Yeah, I mean, the thing uh, with the aggressiveness, um... I'm actually... Or the yeah, I think the combo, thing with the aggressiveness, uh, what I was trying to do was uh, try to do a mix-up since I don't, don't know the matchup. Uh, the matchup that was like hoping to like throw them off, I guess. I try to be random as much as possible and try to get like a hit into RC. Uh, that was the only thing I was gonna hope for. Gotcha. Have you uh, labbed any of the like the corner sword toss mix up or the sword toss RC ones? Uh, I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, there was a. It was like a S. SH into 214, 214k. Uh, then I pick up the sword and I do it all over again. Okay. Um. I'm or the, are you talking up. about the the 2k to each? Uh. Well, here I'm gonna look into some of it here in a sec. But Ram is like she doesn't get a whole lot except for in corner. Outside of, uh... She has some really fucked up mix-ups in the corner. Yeah. Oh, the backwards. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you waited out for the RC, which was good. Could have bursting immediately, but yeah, I was still positioned right, so it would just whip if you did the late burst. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know why the kick doesn't. The 6 H would come out first before the kick. So what that means is that you're pressing the kick too early, so it's just getting eaten by the recovery. Ah, uh, that's probably what it is. Oh god! <laughs> okay, you're going that way. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, just to double check, because I know that you come from Tekken a lot. If you're not sure, do you stand block or crouch block? For Tekken, you uh, stand block and. Oh yeah, always, I know in Tekken. It's, it's more. Um, it's more. What you call it? It's more um, obvious in Tekken, where they're gonna go for a low. So it's only like. Oh no, not stand block. Um, hold back. Yeah. And press down if you can see if they're trying to uh, throw a low. 
Okay, yeah, I, well, I was meaning in this game, because I know that that's the case in Tekken, but in uh, most 2D fighters, you know, it's the overhead that's slower, so you want to default to down back and try and react to high. Oh, okay, and default is down back. Yeah, because you're real quick. Real quick. Um, this is, right here, uh, you'll want to back up a little so I don't hit you. Okay, so this is the speed of the low, right? It's real fast. That's the speed of the overhead. So as long as they're on the ground, you always want to be doing down back. Unless they give you something specific to react to. That's something that'll, uh, you'll get caught a lot if you're trying to stand block in this game. Because you can also, you know, gapling into lows. Hey, it's ready when you are. Yeah, stop. So I guess uh, block or... Yeah, just Always when you're blocking, unless... just, yeah, to see that right there. Because I can Gatling into lows, and if I go for the overhead, see how much slower that is. Um, I couldn't react fast enough. Uh, that's probably just like a you know, a practice thing. But if you're looking for the orange flash specifically, like if you're holding down back and you're just like, oh, I saw orange stand, then, uh... Yeah. So I guess it's a good idea just to focus on down back guarding. Uh, yeah, that, it's like semi -guard then. that is probably, like, the main thing you should be doing on defense right now is just focusing on, no, I am holding, I am holding down back until they give me a reason not to. So, the reason would be like an overhead? Yep, the reason would be overhead, which like for Kai, for example, or, this is my only nuts, grounded yeah. overhead. Mm -hmm. uh, and otherwise, like if I'm in the air, you want a sand block? Sure. But if I'm on the ground, you just have to look for this as far as overheads go. You know, throw interacts with stand and catch block the same way. Uh, Milia, this is a little bit different. She just gets to be like, hey, it's time to guess, but you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> if you're I, I kind of get that. Milia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, that, see, that's the thing. I thought, I thought it would be standing block would be, like, there's going to be, like, some hits that has to be standing guard instead of just, you know. Yeah, well, so in this game, because, like, you know, mids in Tekken, you can only stand block, right, as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in this game, you know, if you crouch block and I go for a mid, just go ahead and just crouch block. Mm -hmm. Is that a mid? Uh, you have to hold. Yeah, it's a mid, but you have to hold down back. Are you holding straight oh, yeah, down? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, straight down in this game does nothing except for make you crouch. Yeah. No. Close. Close. Yeah, see, that, that's definitely a thing that I think I'm doing wrong because I think I'm still playing uh, Tekken. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize until a second ago when I hit you with. I think it was just like 2K, 5K or something. And yeah. the second one hit, and I'm like, oh, this is really important. Um, yeah, it's a, it's like, um, I think the logic was like, if it's a punch or, you know, sword or whatever, it's like again, a mid for me. Then if it's like kicks or, yeah, it's like mostly kicks, it's gotta be like, uh, down block. For the most part, yeah. But in this game, since you can't block mids crouching, uh, you just always wanna, yeah. Okay, and I'm ready to. Go. I will uh I will be hitting you low a lot on purpose to try and be like remember. <laughs> okay. Nice match there. Oh god. I see you Oh, it wasn't over. I was still able to block it low. <laughs> uh, this one. So in the past games, this is this used to be green sever. It used to be an overhead. It's just a mid now, but it low crushes. Uh -oh. Yeah. Wow, um, that's also, that's, a, that's actually Kai really misleading. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Orkai specifically, uh, block this. Uh, right, okay, that works. See how you're all staticky. Mm -hmm. Um, now if I do this, it goes from being like safe to being. Very plus if you are uh, in that state. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready when you are. Okay. Oh, yep, yep, good catch. Can I update that? Um, 
projectile, or you can. we would still, still apply the... It'll still put you the... in shock state, but it, you mm -hmm. won't take chip damage. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, two deals negative. Yeah, that is the time you do want to block high is when they're in the air. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have to like retrain my my fingers. <laughs> yeah, that it's going to be difficult because you know that's something that is theoretically automatic. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Man, good thing I've been re-seeing the player that's just spamming projectiles. <laughs> yeah, I they can be very good, especially because Ram, like, despite her great control of range, to actually fight it full screen, she has to have been super hard. The sword uh, kind of chips out, I think, so uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I always, always throw it. Oh! That's... okay. Uh, hit two of that used to be a low. <laughs> oh, so that's not a low anymore. Yeah, well, hit one is still a low for sure. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess there's something that I have to do differently, like, you know, like how you dash guard. I've oh, been dashing the... guard, like, holding back instead of, like, you know, down back. Yeah, it... do you remember the input for that? I forgot, actually. So, uh, you're on hitbox, right? Or something similar? Uh, key, key, yeah, keyboard for now, okay. but I think so my hitbox is going to be here. Back. And you tap forward and the dash button at the same time. Danger. And you Holding will be running back. while stand blocking. Danger. Wait, so hold, holding forward and pressing back? Uh, no, you hold back, right? Uh, this is like uh -huh. specifically the hitbox version. You hold back Danger. and then you tap forward and dash at the same time. Danger. Tap forward and dash. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then as soon as you release forward, you're holding back. <laughs> uh -huh. Hitbox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to optimize this, you want to be holding down Oh, it's, back. Like, it's, like, it's like the Korean back dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, potentially. I don't know how the KPD works. But to, like, to do this optimally, which I don't yet, um, you hold down back, and then you let go of down, tap forward and dash at the same time. Oh, no, without the dashing, yeah. Usually it's, uh... With the uh, KB, uh, Tekken's KBD, it's like holding back uh, four four as uh, yeah, it's like four four down, four four down, four four down. Gotcha. Yeah, it just in this game you can dash and then hold down back basically, and you will be low blocking while advancing. It's tricky to do quickly though, for sure. Yeah. Okay, ready when you are. Alright. Try, try attacking him with like dash. Yeah, there is a little bit at the start where you can't be hit though. Oh man, that's gonna be hard in hitbox. I have to like because on the keyboard I have my my dash bond like next to my directionals. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I uh, I have it just to the right of my heavy slash button. So my top row is kick slash heavy uh, dash. Mm. Yeah, I'll probably have to readjust those buttons once I get the hitbox. Oh, that does freeze the clock. Okay, that's good to know. Time is up. I was just seeing if I could like get the animation before the thing happened, but looks like I win this time. Dual one. I that. that is uh unsafe on block on block. Yeah, okay. There you go. Should have gone that way. I forget the, if I do the reversal, it doesn't have the range. If yeah, I, if you don't have the swords. If I, if I don't have the swords. <laughs> Yeah, be very careful about throwing your swords because you are a drastically weaker character without them for sure. I'm gonna bristle there, <laughs> but then it come out. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. That'll do it. Yeah. I was already thinking of stuff like using the whole meter just to RC into RC or RC into super. <laughs> because uh, it, it, kind of, it, it kind of feels like it's like more damage that way. If you're ever in a situation where you're like, no, I want out, you can uh, wake up super and then RC it <laughs> if they, they block it. Are you talking about the reversal super or yeah, like so just you do, super, super? If you have a hundred meter, you do wake up reversal super, and then if they block it, you Roman cancel, and you're like, all right, nice block. It's still my turn. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, you'll see uh, like Chip and Leo and Soul do a lot of wake up DPRC for sure.
Oh yeah, don't you mean uh, Kiske back in the old... Uh, uh, no, Kai Kai was one of my uh, secondaries though. Or my only like real one. Uh, I used to play Alphel. Oh yeah, because like, uh, since I think it, it's uh, Kai I see you play a lot, like during the tournaments. Uh, so I played Kai during the beta, the, like the closed beta. All the way back when for Scribe, and then also uh, I was playing him during the initial like new player league for uh, uh, back during Exert mm -hmm. because uh, they were new players and I didn't want to put them in the corner with the Elf Elf shot <laughs> uh, Joey's been playing a lot of Kai in this game though. Yeah, I haven't seen Joe play yet. Yeah, he hasn't been doing uh, online stuff too much. Yeah, instead, instead of the do, uh, Daryl right there, um, I was gonna replace it with the overhead uh, 214 because I think it's like a lot safer and um, I think well, actually, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's safe actually. I don't think it is. Um, I'm not completely sure. It will at least like probably catch most attempts, or I guess. If people try and mash to beat it, then Dara will counter hit them, but that's still like a non favorable arm, yes. Because, yeah, because I, I could do like this as well to like try to bait them, but at the same time, like, you know, only if I meet her. Good recognition that that wasn't going to actually hit you, meaty. Yeah, I was gonna, like, I was not gonna dash over you. I was like trying to like dodge the projectile, but stay within you know like this area. But it was it was so big, I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but still getting like recognition that you could even jump out of that in the first place, because a lot of people will just sit there and be like, oh, there's the projectile. Oh yeah, um, I. I think it's like a second, uh, it's like instinct for me, like remember um, boss, like that long range ball that he has, if he hits like, it, turn, it turns into like a baseball bat. Yeah. Um, so what I've, what I've been hitting with Dre is this one right here, like uh, this one right here, like I would just oh, jump sure. it and hit, hit him with the, the 8S and combo into it, and he was like surprised every single time. <laughs> Kinda had to there, but since I had the meter, I could just check it. Yeah, like that's I definitely what start. Rush did, like, a lot. Trying to beat the uh, burst. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Slap. Oh, wake up, DP4. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that one right there, like, that would really bait me. Like, I, I, I would think that I would be able to grab that. Which one? Like, when you, like, run into me. Like after oh, the yeah, knockout. that is like you just cannot tell the difference like within human reaction times on whether it's going to be a strike or a throw. So you just kind of have to guess. There is a technique you can do to help with it. It's not cool, but uh, did you see the thing I was telling Pan Fried about fuzzy jumping? Oh, fuzzy, fuzzy jumping? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll walk you through it after this, then. Actually, like here, I'll just I'll do you. it now. So, okay. Uh, on Wake Up, you are throw immune for the first five frames, right? Mm -hmm. So, if I, like, knock you down... Uh, just hold down back, okay? Or, sorry, I guess after I knock you down, hold down back. Or, like, let me knock you down, and then, as you're getting up, hold down back. Okay. So if you're holding down back here, you will block this, right? And if I throw at that same time, it whiffs? Because you're throw immune. There's this little window where you're throw immune, but you can block. So if you are blocking on wake up, and then on like frame, you know, two, three, or four, you tap up real quickly. Uh, if you're already blocking something, you can't jump, you're just in block stun. So, if I meet you, congrats, you've already blocked. If I'm running up and doing like a delayed throw, then you will have jumped first. There's ways to beat this. You can like, you know, put a little gap before you meet them and then it catches their jump. But if they're just doing, you know, just this mix up versus that at the fastest timing, then it lets you kind of just get out. Challenge me again, whatever you like. I don't know if that made any sense because I kind of threw a bunch of stuff all together at once, but uh, just a little bit. I have to like lower the volume of the, the game. <laughs> okay, no worries. Here, let's do one more set and then actually head over yeah, into training mode because this is something like super, super important so for defense in this game. On themselves, they blame the... Dual one. Let's rock. Negative, but Roman cancel definitely uh, adjusts that. I think they down back guarding really. They, I think it definitely shows uh, improvement. Yeah, for sure. Like just improving the game in general. Like I don't think I'm. I'm kind of like confident that I'm not gonna get like. Um, Pumped out like all the time, unless they have like an infinite com uh, mix up combo. Yeah, that's uh, uh, not nearly as much of a thing in this game as it has been in some of the older ones. Oh, nice. yeah, you got chipped out. Man, I wonder if you can RC that. That'd be crazy. Challenge me again, like. Can you RC it after I do it, or if I can? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I can RC, then get out. Uh, I'm not sure. Either way, though, in situations like Man, that, just make sure that you uh, faultless, because it so prevents chip damage. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Like the supers. 
One thing I just uh, recently learned from Dre is to use faultless uh, FD more on like on which calls on uh, on pressure because he actually like pushes them pushes them like so far back or something. Yeah, for sure. Like especially against like a Leo player or something. Uh, it's also generally a good idea, uh, in my experience, to use it on the first thing you block on Wake Up. After that, you can swap to normal, because it does, you know, give you more block stun as well. Yeah, it's like yeah see how that pushed like, me away further, mm -hmm. and so I had to, like, try and adjust for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gotta be real uh, careful using the right uh, block. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I can RC that. See, that's definitely something I would like need to practice on, like what to do after that. That wake up um, situation. Uh, yeah, the wake up situation because I kind of feel like that actually happened um, a lot of times. <laughs> For sure. Uh, here, would you mind if we hop over into training mode actually? Because that's yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, I was yeah, talking yeah. about earlier is basically how to deal with that. Um. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do this will actually for, be for us to just head to our own separate training mode.